Sing for Sing TV, it's your girl Sam LaRouge. I'm at the Man Don't Cheat movie premiere with Prudence Paez. She is the producer, assistant director, and costume design of this movie. How are you doing today? Good. So glad to have you with us today. Of course, of course. I'm excited to talk about this movie and to get your insights on the behind the scenes. Okay, awesome. So what drew you to this project? Well, I was actually recruited. I was hired by the executive producer and creator, Eric Hawkins. Yes. He called me one day and he said, hey, I heard all about you. I've been following you on Instagram and watching the other projects you've been working on. Oh, wow. And he said, I want you to be a part of my team. Oh, I love it. And how has your experience been just working through this project with the cast and with the other producers? How has it been? It has been awesome. Eric and I are the two producers on the movie. Uh, we learned a lot about each other. We taught each other a lot, even mm. though I've been in the industry for over 20 years. Right. Amazing. Um, 20 years, guys. Yes. Okay. Eric has just started on his journey, and he's genius. Nice. So Amazing. we taught each other. I love that. So it was a great working relationship. You learn from each other. Yes. And with each cast mem member, I know you also do costume design as well. So how are you able to pick the designs and the costumes per character based on the personality in the movie? I really wanted to make the costume design very complex. Nice. I graduated from NYU Film School. Okay. And <laughs> I learned a lot of, about a lot about psychology, the methods of costume design through the sequence of a story. Oh, I so I kept trying to put together the storyline along with colors. Mm. And that's when I came up with the rainbow. I decided to base the costumes for Janae, the lead. Mm -hmm. I decided to base her costumes on the colors of the rainbow because that's what it seemed like her story was going through. Interesting. A process of the rainbow. So that's beautiful. Wow, that's very deep. <laughs> you know how like when you're yeah. in like first grade you learn Roy yes. G. Biv. Yes. <laughs> wow. I didn't... And that's how that story progresses through the reds, the yellows, the right. oranges, the blues represent her sadness. And then we start getting into the darker palettes. Interesting. And then at the end we come back out on the, the light bright, side. Right colors. And how about the, the lead, the husband who's suspected to be cheating? What color palette were you using for him? He was very bland, you know. Oh. <laughs> he his his character shows so much emotion. I didn't want to put too much color into his outfit. Mm -hmm. I, but I did want him to be very conservative Interesting. because he is a businessman. Mm. I know in a lot of stories we don't often get a chance to see our young black men exactly all dressed up and looking good yeah, clean and suits yeah so i wanted to keep him in that i wanted to make him very conservative in conjunction with the storyline again it's different right he's conservative but there's a lot happening in his life so it's like a just position if you, if you will and men don't cheat mm -hmm. um so i wanted to go along that lines of keeping him clean i like that yeah i love that insight and what character do you resonate with the most personally I was watching, I know it's a fun question, but which one do you relate to, do you see yourself in? Wow, you know, <laughs> I've been married for 15 years. It's a blessing, congrats. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, us wives, sometimes it is very hard for us to believe that men don't cheat. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think the character that I resonate with are all of them. Oh wow, in different ways. And in different parts of my life. Mm, yeah. That's the yeah, yeah. So is there any upcoming projects that you guys, that you have personally that's upcoming? I do. Eric and I are working on another project about single moms and having to just pay the rent oh. and not having the funds to do so. Mm -hmm. uh, we're working on that and the struggle, you know, and getting through the struggles. Mm -hmm. I'm all, also working on my own movie called Control Alt Delete. Oh, Control Alt Delete. Yes. I'm very curious. What is that about? Can you tell us? What's and it's about a group of people working in an office together when a civil war breaks out. Wow. Is this past, current? This I'm, will be current. Oh, now yeah. that's a fun twist. I love that. I'm excited. Yeah. You got to let me know when it's coming out because <laughs> that is a fun one. You yeah. know how like normally in at work you're like, who didn't fill up the yeah, paper printer, machine, the printer? Who took my food in the fridge? Yes, like simple work drama. the last of the creamer? Right. didn't tell anybody or, you know, I think she's sabotaging me. Right, right, right. right. She that just, kind yeah. of thing. Imagine dealing with all of those 
office problems right. and then having to deal with a civil war that's happening outside. I love that because that's not a storyline that I have ever heard of. So I'm very excited to hear about this. Oh, thank yes. you. <laughs> so where can everyone can follow you and support you with your current project with Mendonchi and future projects? OK, well, you guys can always follow me on Instagram at Prudence underscore Paez or on Facebook, which I like more because I'm the more mature user. Listen, <laughs> you don't look mature. Okay? <laughs> and you can follow me there at Prudence Paez. I look forward to keeping in touch with you guys. And thank you so much for of being course. here today. This is a, a delight time. I can't wait to rewatch the movie, <laughs> Mendonchi. I'm here with Prudence, we'll be right back.